In the first three months of the year, General Godfrey Libea and the Hawks facilitated the appearance of 547 suspects in court. This number includes 526 natural persons, 80% of whom are South African, with fraud being the most prevalent crime. Along with these court appearances, 182 convictions were concluded. Gauteng and Northwest make up the top two provinces for both arrests and convictions. Beyond the quarterly reporting period, the numbers are higher and some matters stretch over years. We are deliberately showing the date so that uh, people do not just believe that uh, you receive the matter today and tomorrow is finalized. Uh, we have indicated that uh, we have got more than uh, 20,000 cases that uh, we are currently having on hand. On the court roll, we have got more than 12,000 <coughs> accused persons that are currently serving before the various courts. Fraud, money laundering and corruption join organized and commercial crime, illegal mining and police killings as some of the law-breaking acts on the police's radar, along with trafficking and sabotage. Libya admits there are concerns when only 20 arrests are made from 51 reported cash and transit robberies. It is a concern. It takes time. But uh, some of these individuals, as you shall see, they repeat themselves, which is why uh, in one of the cases that I cited, they are convicted of multiple uh, cash in transit robberies. So that is what we do. Uh, the, unfortunately, the crook seems to not to lessen. Even when they see their uh, colleagues losing their lives during the attempts, you still find others doing it. So it, it is a concern. With the number of arrests made during police operations and those detained at correctional services facilities, Libya says maybe the size of the systems responsible for these operations should be scrutinized. Clonim Timkulu, Pretoria.